632 right now, and usually hundreds of volunteers would be biking 100 miles across the state throughout the week and stopping at schools for an annual ride for missing children. Thanks to the pandemic, they've changed it up. Even after 25 years, these messages of safety are still spreading, though. The ride, because of COVID, has had to be postponed. They can't do the school stops anymore. But they have found other ways to create awareness, and very powerfully so. Julia LeBlanc live now at Onondaga Lake Park, where there's an example of those efforts right there. Quite visual, huh, Julia? That's right, Dan. You're looking at the chain of awareness behind me here. It's posted right in front of the park here, at, or rather the playground here, right at Onondaga Lake Park, and it represents all of the missing children here who are currently missing in New York State, and that number can range from 200 to 260 kids missing at any one point in time. You'll see those ribbons on some of those pictures. Those are all of the local children who are currently missing. There's just about a handful here in Onondaga County. Now, on top of this tangible example, there's also a group of riders stopping here in Liverpool this morning and then cycling across the state, but they're not stopping at schools like they normally do. But the mission doesn't stop there. In September, in place of the main ride, there's a month-long event called Miles for Hope, where the National Center is asking people to move around in any way they can, raising money and awareness for missing and exploited children. Now, the need for these kinds of efforts has never been more pressing than right now, because with more children online during the pandemic, Ed Souk says online exploitation of kids across the country grew by more than 97 percent within the last year. Clearly, we saw those individuals that want to do harm to kids be very creative and realize they could access kids online because kids were online a lot more. So now more than ever, we need to make certain that we get great safety messages out to our kids and uh, share all the free resources that we have at the center. Now, at the end of the chain, again, it's here at Onondaga Lake Park, right in front of the playground. You're going to find this box here, and it tells you about the Miles for Hope. If you open it, there's a paper inside which will tell you how you can get involved and also how you can learn about safety for your children. Again, in these times when kids are online, it's a lot more danger going on out there. So head to Onondaga Lake Park, take a look at all these faces here on this chain, look everything up online, get involved. This is the time to do so. We're live at Onondaga Lake Park, Julia LeBlanc, News Channel 9.